video, I'm going to review different ways you can share your Illustrator content for collaborators and co-editors. So the first method we're going to look at is packaging. This is very similar to packaging inside of InDesign, if you're familiar with that. So first of all, in order to package, your file must be saved locally. So I have a local file here, and I just want to show you a couple things. So I'm using an Adobe font here, and I have an image embedded. Here I have an image that I've linked from a Creative Cloud library. So one of the things that Package does is handle embedded and linked graphics differently. So I'm going to go to File and Package. I can choose the location that I want to save my package to. It's going to name it with the same name as the document with the word folder. And I can choose how I want to package my different contents. Now notice it doesn't package fonts that are Adobe fonts. So the only fonts it would copy would be other fonts. I'm also collecting links in a separate folder. So when we open that folder, we're going to see the image from the Creative Cloud libraries, but not the image we see below Space Adventures. So here's our package. Here's the Illustrator file. Here's the linked file. And then we have a report of the text, the color space, etc. So that's packaging our contents. Let's look at two other ways we can share work with collaborators. This time I'm going to go up to my Share button in the upper right-hand corner. When I select, I have two options. The first is Invite to Edit. I can directly invite people to work on my file one collaborator at a time. With those options, I can directly send invites two specific collaborators, and give them a message. With this method, they will be able to open up the file, make changes, look at comments I've made to the file, and we can collaborate back and forth. I can also allow anyone with a link to view it. This would not allow for co-collaboration. In this case, the person would be able to save the file and edit it independently. The other option is Share for Review. With a Share for Review, people can comment but not edit. This is a great way to share your files with stakeholders, allow them to offer you feedback, but without the opportunity to edit your design work. Now that my collaborator has had a chance to review and open files, I can come in and make adjustments. I can also view their comments. To do that, I can go through Window and Comments. I also get a little prompt in the Comments panel with the blue dot so I can see all the comments that have been added. I can also add my own comments. So for example, I'm noticing that it looks like the background was moved a little bit. So I can come in and just add and my collaborator will be able to see that I've made an adjustment and comment back to me. And I have a new comment. There we go. Now the real difference between that invite to edit and the share for review is that with the invite to edit, my collaborator can make changes as we saw in this document, but the share for review comments would still appear in this same comment 
it just wouldn't allow the person to edit. So you might co-edit with a coworker, but you might just share for review with the client. Anyway, take advantage of these great tools to collaborate with your work, share and get feedback. Mm-hmm.